what's up i don't really feel like singing today it's not about any moods or anything it's just i don't feel well yesterday i went to the snow and as a person who lives in a country who doesn't get snow at all i think it threw a really big spanner in the works so now i have a cold and a sore throat and a headache so <laughs> so today since it is actually day 20 wow tomorrow day 21 days is what they say that you should do in a row so that you continually continuously do it after that so we're one day away from that but since it is day 20 i thought and since i don't feel like singing i thought that i would do a bit of a recap and kind of tell you how to put together your um warm-up or a uh, routine so just like a workout routine you have a workout routine for your voice so this is aside from doing your general practice of songs or anything so i have four different things uh, five different so the fifth one is just practice but i have four different sections so i will go through them and put like a time stamp i'll have to check without my glasses actually i think this is the more accurate representation of what LASIK would be like just just a laser coming at the eye <laughs> so the first one is warm-ups sorry I'm sniffling a lot so um for me I usually start off with my safasa so I'll just give you an example of everything that I do and how at the end I'll show you how I put together my um, routine <coughs> so, <coughs> ba, so So first up, for the warm-up, we have um. So what you do, I usually just keep my shruti box, pitch box, and uh, follow that tone. I, usually I move it up or move it one step down, depending on how my throat is doing. So um, let me try with G sharp today, if I can go down to my um. Otherwise, you can just do it on your own pitch. You don't need a pitch to keep you going it's just about how you can start to get your throat warmed up so that would go like So you can do that as many times as you'd like or as little as you like but remember that warming up is always important so you should always have a warm-up every day whether you're going to sing right now or later it's just to get your throat working after you've been sleeping or you haven't been using it so that it you don't get a vocal injury which is something that is important and i neglected for a really long time so you do that as many times as you want and then next you do lip trills so lip trills comes in a few of the other sections but for warming up you just go uh don't go too high or low that will come in one of the in the voice range section so lip trill you just go so i'm starting in 
Jeez. Hold on. So let me slide in G and you just go to half an octave. So you go so pa and then if you hold your um mouth here with two fingers from each hand that should try to help if you can't do without holding it otherwise you can use your tongue and do r so and then you just go up and down wherever you're comfortable with don't try to strain it because then you're still in the warm-up section so i'm gonna go down And then you do the same thing, you go up. So that's just a little bit of the warm up. And the next we have NG. So the NG you do the exact same, sa to pa, and make sure that you're saying the NG like sing. So that's where your tongue should be in your mouth so the tongue placement should be where mm, so where would it be it's like the tip of your tongue is touching the front of your teeth you know the tip of the tongue your teeth the lips but the tip of the teeth mm, and make sure that you don't um strain your throat at all this is just for getting your throat ready to do those things in the future and then you move the pitch again and then also for warming up it is good to get your whole body warmed up so you can just do a bit of like jumping jacks or something to get your whole body warmed up for like five ten minutes before you start your practice that is also good i don't actually do that but i was thinking i could so next we have breathing so breathing is quite important especially for me that's one of the things that i'm working on so breathing you want to do uh, the first thing that you want to do is just breathe through your diaphragm so you want to put your hand on your stomach and when you take a deep breath in make sure it's not your chest that is taking in air your chest should stay like in place put your hand on your stomach take a deep breath in and just blow out a note so i'll take ba. so i'll go So try to hold that for as long as you can and using the diaphragm breath take a note that you're comfortable with <laughs> terrible my nose is killing itself as we speak there's something else happening in my nose my nose seems to be bothering me a lot but since i was pretty graphic about my ears the other day i'll keep this to myself so that was the first one and then the second one is just breathing so this one actually we, i did during school so you take a straw and you just blow through it just <laughs> asmr and that one as well hold it for as long as you can remember to breathe from the diaphragm make sure that your stomach is the one going in and out when you're breathing make sure that it's not your chest that is going because you want the sound to come from down here and the next one is a kind of a mixture of a vocal range extender and a um breathing exercise so i did this before so you take the lowest note that you can and you just start going so you blow and then 
and then you change the pitch again brief 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 and make sure every time you do the breathing it's your stomach that's going so make sure that you're really using your ab muscles to get that um exercise going so and next is vocal range vocal range my best friend and my worst nightmare so again we're going to so this one also uses lip trills this one goes from one octave to the next octave so i will start from f sharp so you go where is it so you go from sa 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 and then you just move up one note at a time again you can use the r if you want always stop when you feel kind of pain you shouldn't you should actually stop before you anticipate that the pain is coming you never want to damage your throat and then uh leeching on to that one actually if you're interested in hitting a higher note and you find it's difficult for you to hit it in an R, ah, for example. Let's say, let me take. So I'm gonna take the highest um, saw in this. Again, you can use the piano app. I actually don't know where my phone is, so I can't show an example in that. So you go, I'll do it from like sa ba. So sa would be so once you're comfortable with that hitting it in the brr or you just open it make sure everything's relaxed and you go ah and make sure that i don't know how good that was i don't actually know because Overall, I'm just very not great. Great vocal shape. These whole 20 days have been a nightmare. This is the longest time that nothing has been going properly. So that is a good one to hit when you really want to get up to it. And then once you're up to that, you can always try going higher if you can. Or if you can't, just stay around the highest one that you can go down come back up try the next one if you can't then just keep going down and coming back to the one that you can and then just try the next day to see if you can go up or down um so this one is another up high um exercise so it's just high to low so you go uh, this is kind of hard without the piano app because i don't actually know what the notes are but you go so try to keep all the um sounds up here not using your throat so the higher up you go you use your head voice if you can't support it with your chest anymore so you go and then you go up one so you go And then you try and go as high as you can. If you can't go any higher, then just go back down. And then you go up again. And then, so that's for more high. And then again for low, you do just the complete opposite. So you go. So in high, you go one step up, and then you go one, two, minus, and then you go to the next step, then you go down, and then the next step, and then you go down. For low, you go down, up, 
and then one step down from the first one up and then down one step from the lowest one and then so make sure that you do the complete opposite of the two so that's for lower as well and again just make sure that if you're going to your head voice that everything's coming out through here through the eyes because the ear the nose and the throat are connected oh. <coughs> oh. um what right the sound should all come through this area so you can really scrunch your nose make it nosily nasally make the sound disgusting so that you know how your everything is working how your lovely instrument is getting along how it's tuned how it's working what what it does what it can't do that kind of stuff so that's all for like extending your vocal range there's also a different things you can do uh for all these exercises that I'm saying, you can do a, uh, e, o, u, any kinds of no um, no notes or ng or lip trail. So for anything, if you like that exercise, you can just do it in all sorts of different forms. That's completely fine. Next one is projection. I actually added breathing, so we have an extra one to do. So next one is projection. <laughs> So projection is what I did before with my dog and um, the first one you just want to have like everything in your face is switched on and everything's coming from your diaphragm and you're like hey guys that sounded horrible you want to just have everything come out so let me read this warm-ups um lip drills ng breathing so everything is super animated you're just getting the sound to come out through there but not hurting here and you just want it to be super high and you want it to be animated so that it sounds like you're reading a um an excerpt of something but you're making it super loud and not in a shouting way you just want everything you want your speaking voice you want your singing voice to all just come out from the diaphragm so that was projection and then next one the last one is agility so agility uh i've been doing a lot of both uh, this one is for like if you would like to do a Carnatic version or the Western version because I've been using the Western major scale, which otherwise known as Shankara Balanam. So that one goes Sariga ma padanisa sani da pa magarisa, otherwise known as the Doremi from Sound of Music, that song. Um, so the first one I've, I've been doing is the doing it in two, three, and four. So just go. So two would be ah uh, or sa sa ri ri ga ga mama. Three sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 and four sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 ga. And with that, I've been using a metronome. I've been doing it with you guys. So I hope that some of you have been following along. If not, well, let's get on that. So I think I started off with 70 for that one. And now we're up to 80, which is pretty good because I was kind of stuck at 70 for a super long time. So we're at 80 for that one. And then uh, next I do the single one. So... So we started off, I think, at 100 just because uh, I wanted to show how it would be. So 100 BPM, one by one time signature. The other 2, 3, 4 was all in 4 by 4 time signature. So this one we got up to 170, I think. So just go up. So for the other one, I go up by 2. So 70, 72, 4, 5, 6, 8. 80 this one i go up by 
10 although if you find it too difficult to go up by 10 you can always do it by 4 or 5 or whatever whatever you're comfortable with always for me I prefer to have a good foundation which is why I'm going slowly but it's up to you if you want to rebel out and do it super fast so uh, so I've been doing this and that in R so I haven't warmed up my throat today which is why it's terrible at whatever slow speed this may be and then there's also same thing you do in R again if you're not a Carnatic musician you can do it in A, E, O, U, and then just do the same. And if you are a Carnatic person or you're interested in it, you can say the notes of Sarigama and then do the A. And then, so that's all for agility. Now, the very last thing is how to put together a practice schedule schedule so every day actually every day you start off with a warm-up the first thing that you do if you have the time you wake up just do like a even if you can just do a 10 minute warm-up is good i like to do a around 20 minute warm-up and then do whatever you want go eat go brush your teeth do anything that you want then you come back and then this is again for not warming up but getting your like techniques in line so what i do is i like to choose one or two that i feel like doing in that day so maybe one day i'd like to work on breathing and projection so i'll do all the things that i spoke about in this and then the next day i will do vocal range and then the next day i might do agility and then the next day i might do vocal range and agility it kind of just depends on how i'm feeling and what i feel i am kind of behind on but uh if you don't and always make sure that you don't push yourself too hard always have like a week to do the exact same like thing that you can so for agility i try to keep on since i'm up to 80 for my first one i'll keep that for a week and then try 82 if i'm not comfortable i go go back to 80 i feel like i'm doing it a bit slowly but if you can do it a bit faster that's super for you that's what our goal is we want to move forward so if you're at a higher level than i am then that's perfect not in a sarcastic way am i a bit jealous of course i am of course that's what i'd like to go to but you know we're all at our own different pace so then i'll do this for like around 20 minutes to an hour depends on how long what takes you don't even have to do any if you don't feel like doing any you can just do your warm-ups and then go up to your practice however i do suggest that you do all these things because they're all good techniques for good singing you can't just have a nice sounding voice that's boring you need to always give yourself challenges and then you go on to your practice like practicing whatever songs so i have a lesson tomorrow and i have yet to practice the song but i will do that tomorrow morning because i don't feel like singing today and then while i'm practicing if i find that there's something that is not right like if it's a song which has a lot of gamma gums i will practice more on my agility uh, during the week or just increase how many times i do it uh or and then so that's how i do it but if you're during the times when i don't have any songs i will 
for me i am interested in working on my breathing uh, my upper register and um, agility projection i'm not too sure i feel like i do want to work on projection but then if i say projection then i'm just saying everything all my techniques okay fine i want to work on all my techniques so i will incorporate more of these into each day or week or anything and i don't want to be that kind of person because it always just seems so lame to me but practice is key i know that fortunately i didn't get the tone deaf side of my my dad <laughs> so i do find that as a bit of a positive thing but i definitely know i have improved in these four and a half years i know that um i have come up to speed just a bit behind to all my peers who have been singing for quite a big time and i think that's just because i felt super insignificant and like inferior to everyone so i have been practicing quite a bit um i definitely wouldn't say i've been practicing eight hours a day like what i read hari haran does but given that i had like university and jobs and stuff i do think that i have been practicing a lot especially during this um corona time is a great time to fit in more practicing and when you practice it makes you feel good about your end goal so always and i have felt bad if um i don't get up to a good speed or if i don't practice properly but it's all coming together i have if i want to give myself some positive affirmations as someone kindly commented i say that i'm a pretty good working working bee i got my yellow and black and i think that i have worked quite hard and i'm definitely improving i definitely see an improvement i know that i'm not where i am would have liked to have been at this age time period but you know things happen in people's lives you don't get everything that you want so you work hard so i think that i'm definitely getting there i'm getting there slowly but i'm getting there and i'm always working towards my goal definitely to be more confident sing more out there you know one day have something to do with music all of that is a concern for me like as you get older it's like oh i haven't really done anything in music i do put that towards my low self-esteem low confidence issues but even putting myself out there like on this is a huge step i definitely would not have done this if it weren't for being stir crazy due to not being able to go outside and feeling like everyone else is doing stuff but you know never never stop never stop moving always always go always just keep going do whatever you want just never stop going always stop stopping stop stopping keep going um yep my nose hurts i'm not gonna say why if you want to know i can't tell you because i'm not allowed to say graphic things anymore <laughs> uh, i hope i hope this wasn't too much of a a boring video i know that uh this is just supposed to be informative because i know i definitely had issues with putting together a routine of what like what am i supposed to sing every day what do i do to make my singing better so i hope um so again i'll put all the timestamps in the description just so that you can skip to like 
the different <coughs> things. Um, but yeah, well, I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. So, uh, thanks again for my shooty box for making it in today's video. Thank you for nature. Thanks for everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.